Hey guys, Brad M73 here. Welcome to a preview, uh, or if you're watching this after October 22nd, 2019, a, uh, I guess an overview of the new Farming Simulator 19 Platinum expansion. It's gonna be for sale for 19.99 US dollars. Check your local prices for, you know, <laughs> whatever your uh, local price is going to be. Um, but yes, class is finally going to be in the game, and I we're going to take a quick overview or a quick look at all the different vehicles I've spent. I don't even want to tell you guys how much time I've spent putting all of these vehicles um, together in some semblance of order um, for you guys to enjoy. Um, but we're going to start off with the um, the class Arion. It's the 460-410 series. Um, and these actually run in a line of tractors from the uh, Model 410 up to the Model 60, which is right over here. Um, <clears throat> aside from that, uh, on both of these, you can actually put a, um, what is it, the front loader attacher for the, the front loader arm here. Um, another cool thing that I, I thought was really neat with this tractor, and I'm just going to kind of jump in to show you guys, is the you can actually add what they call the, a panoramic view to this tractor. Um, we don't have it on that one, but we do have it on this one. And as you can see, they're kind of like the crossbar is right there. And I'm assuming that they they did this window so that you can actually see your front loader. Because when you lift it up and you've got a roof in front of your head, you can't see where it's going. So it's basically one continuous window uh, going all the way up, which I thought was really super cool. And oh, don't look at all the other equipment. Only look at, the, only what, look at what I'm showing you here. Um, so yeah, if we go into the uh, 460 410, obviously you can change the tires, wheel setups are um, kind of standard fare. Uh, but the design here, you can either do standard or you can do panoramic. So um, not <clears throat> too much really changes, just this top section and the fact that it's, um, you know, it might not be one solid piece, there might actually be a, you know, kind of like a joint there from the, the top piece to the front piece on a real tractor, but um, we don't really see that. Um, also the engine setups, and this is gonna be kind of this, the same setup uh, with the rest of the, the class tractors. And I'm not gonna go through every single one of them, um, but obviously you can choose the engine setup, which will uh, increase the uh, horsepower uh, as well as the front loader attacher there. So, So yeah, we've got, both of these, another cool thing that I wanna show you, actually, if, if we look kind of, whoops, dead center there, we can see all of the um, all of the cables right here, hello, uh, coming off the front loader and, and clipping in here. Now, if I disconnect those and we back up a little bit, those cables just kinda of hang off there like they would in real life. I think this is kind of a cool touch and um, yeah, I, I actually have to say I was kind of impressed that there was that level of detail when I when I was trying this tractor out. So thumbs up there. Both of those tractors look absolutely wonderful. Um, next up, we step up to the uh, Arion 660 to 610. Um, here we see the 660. Um, and again, you know, looking around the interior, we've got interiors. The interiors all kind of looks very similar or you know obviously the class design is uh, very similar actually let's go back and look at the um this the whoa, the 400 series i don't think i really looked around this one there is a little jump seat little fold out jump seat there um not really too much computerization in this one you know we don't have a screen or anything like that um but there you can see the controls some controls up there on the uh, side post. So, all right. So we've got the, the 610 there. We've got the 660 here. And you can see it right down there, the Class 60 Arion. Um, same tractor as before. Unfortunately, though, we don't get a pan panoramic option with, with this guy. But, you know, we still do have the uh, a different front loader attacher. So we've got 
This is the FL140. Over here is the FL120. So the FL120 goes with the 400 series. Um, the FL140 goes with the 600 series. So um, those are both, you know, part of this uh, Platinum Expansion uh, uh, DLC that, that is coming up on October 22nd, if I didn't mention it already, uh, which I think I did, October 22nd. Um, next up, we have kind of like the flagship um, 870 Axion. So this will be the 800 series. Um, this goes from the 800 model all the way up to the 870. Plenty of choices there. These actually, if we go in and just look really quick, because I don't know the um, horsepower, they start out <clears throat> at 205 horsepower. They go all the way up to 295 horsepower. So very nice. But just wheel setups and wheel brands for this one. Nothing too uh, super exciting. Uh, and I don't need this, so we can close that. <clears throat> and then we can look. We don't have the sunroof, unfortunately. Uh, but if we, you know, pan around, we can see... What is that? Like a cable of some kind. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Maybe it's like a GPS cable or something. It actually kind of does look like it goes into the back of this class monitor right here. Uh, but we've got the controls. Uh, very nice detail on everything. Um, the, uh, the window heater stripes there. We're getting the uh, frost off your uh, windshield and a fold out jump seat we've got a little cup holder there 12 volt uh, auxiliary power adapter and uh, you know your basic controls there very nice and then moving up to our last non-articulated tractor is the 900 series so this uh, goes from the 920 all the way up to the 960 and it's going to look, you know, very similar to the 800 series uh, that we were just in. The cable's a little bit different there. And I just love all the sounds. These are all real class sounds, according to Giants. Um, so uh, definitely sound very, very nice. Carpet. Again, no sunroof. Standard controls there on the front. And so uh, let's go ahead and jump out. Um, lastly, as far as tractors, we've got the uh, Zerion uh, articulated tractors. Um, you can choose between the 4,000 or the 5,000. Uh, if we go in and look at that really quick, uh, 435 horsepower on the Zerion 4,000, 530 on the 5,000. So you can just kind of see the engine compartment grows, but the rest of the tractor is pretty much identical between the two. And if you guys, you know, follow my Let's Play series, uh, any of them in Farming Sim, you'd know I always buy the best. So I'm never going to... Oh, wait, there's a 4,500. So you got a 4,500 uh, or 4,000, 4,500, which goes up to 490 and then the 5,000. I'm always going to buy that, that 5,000, right? Uh, but very, very nice. Again, we've got the see-through grills on the front like we did with uh, other brands in uh, Farming Simulator 19. Track VC, but very, very nicely modeled. And I don't think I can get around. Here we go. Uh, lots of detail on the back, which is what we've come to expect from Giants. Very, very nicely done. And then the interior. Uh, this actually feels a little bit different because of the cowling on the front. Um, our GPS and our, our screens are kind of placed a little bit differently. Um, the cab still feels nice and roomy. We've got extra controls up here on the ceiling. Looks like uh, lighting controls, uh, heating, air conditioning, things like that, as well as either a radio or a CB or a combo there and our little jump seat there. But not too much actually on the panel. Um, I'm not sure if we're actually supposed to have like speed and things like that but if you look over here on the side panel you can see there's the speed there's the tachometer um, things like fuel um, oil pressure oil pressure and temperature and things like that are all listed there so maybe these don't have a console uh, like the other tractors do I'm not a you know real farmer so I don't know these things so um, that is the Zerion 5000 
Um, next, we're going to move over to our um, uh, the wheel loaders. So we've got three different sizes here. We have first the smallest, which is the Tyrion 639. Uh, we've got the what is it? The the Tyrion six, or I'm sorry, 956 uh, Sinus or Sinus. I don't know how they sell that or say that. Oh my gosh, I can't talk tonight. Yes, it is the 956 Torion Sinus or Sinus. Not really sure how they say that. And then last but not least, we've got the big boy, the Tyrion C-Matic. The uh, Tyrion 1914 for the really big jobs. So uh, just jumping into the little guy, you can tell, you know, this is going to be for smaller jobs, obviously. Uh, so we've got some controls there. Um, not really a panoramic uh, ceiling or, or window like I would like to see, but uh, I, they they spoiled me on that first tractor. I want it on everything now. So, um, so we've got that guy there moving up. Nope, not moving up. Hello, am I stuck? There we go. No! We want to be in the middle. There we go. You can see it's like... They're like smallest, big, bigger, and then biggest there on the left. I should have maybe reversed the order. I don't know, but uh, very, very nice. They, you know, they've got the class colors down, and um, there's the interior. So it looks like there's possibly a backup camera, though the uh, picture is obviously static. Um, it would be nice if Giants would kind of implement those backup cameras and make them actual, actually functional. Um, it would be nice if we were to see more um, of those small details kind of coming in to the next version. And obviously we've got this big honking exhaust pipe here in the back. So there must be a really big engine in there, right? Um, so this is again, the Tyrion 1914 uh, for the, the big jobs. You know, if you've, you're, cutting silage you're gonna be using probably wanting wanting to use this one i know i would um maybe not everybody depending on your farming budget but something like this would be something that you would definitely want to move up to it's like a radio up there maybe light switches uh other lights and are those switches or are they? Yeah, they look like they're switches. Okay. So yeah, good stuff here. Um, and then we go to our telehandler, which is the uh, the class ten thirty three Scorpion Very Power. And I just love I look I love looking into like the little compartments. Ooh, that's one thing I was gonna do over here on the Tyrion. Let's see if we can get up here. Here. Can I get knock it up there? Oh, there we go. Oh, it's too much. Oh, I don't think I can open or look really get a good look in there. No, not not really too much exciting in there. But I always like looking and seeing like the little details that that Giants puts in these little compartments. Very nice. Uh, the lights look amazing with the uh, LEDs in there. Got a little some wheel chocks in there so you don't run you know the the vehicle doesn't roll off <laughs> if you forget to put the parking brake on i suppose now you get the little cabin there pretty standard as far as telehandlers go um no class branded attachments um so they basically work with hello uh with the existing attachments in the game and of course we have our cabin here so basic controls um Again, you know, this isn't a simulator, so you're not actually clicking all these buttons. But, well, I guess technically it's a simulator, a farming simulator. But, um, yeah, we've got everything there that you can see. Um, next up, we have the Forge Harvesters. And we've got uh, the Pickup 300. Uh, this basically picks up, I think, grass and straw. So if you want to you know, pick it up off the ground and just throw it into a uh, trailer. Uh, you can do that with that, with the either of the uh, the forge harvesters. 
We also have the uh, 500 direct disc. Now this is actually kind of like a mower, but for crops. And so it's gonna turn your crop, I think it turns it directly into silage. Um, and of course, then you have to take it and ferment it into the end product silage. But it would essentially be doing the same thing that everybody does with corn, except with all the other crops. And if we actually go and look at that, uh, we can look at, well, oh, not too far here. Wait, where is it? Oh, that's right. Yeah, the direct disc here. Uh, oh, yeah, it's it does most of the crops, not everything, but, you know, wheat, barley, uh, oats, canola, and uh, soybeans so and grass, obviously. So, yep. And then there's also a trailer that it's sitting on, which is the direct disc. 500 trailer so you can see the prices and everything there for that so we'll exit out and it is sitting on the trailer so very very nice lots of little details and little decals and stuff like that and uh i just love how the light glints off the metal very 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 nice um so moving on to the combine or i'm sorry the forage harvesters we have the 980 jaguar and um yep it's a forage harvester it is i think 400 they've got a few different variants of this so you can actually choose if we go back into class all the way here at the beginning so you've got the jaguar 930 which is 462 horsepower and you know you can go all the way up to the 980 which is 844 horsepower. So again, you guys know me, I'm gonna go for the really super expensive one, right? But, <clears throat> you know, it's a lot more expensive, $211,000 more expensive. So you might actually start out with the cheaper one and maybe upgrade it over time. Uh, if you put a shop out by your farm or even if you were to take it back to the dealer and, and upgrade it from there, you can do that. So, uh, so that actually, Offers a lot of flexibility. I think that'll be a pretty cool piece of equipment. And then we've got the uh, Orbis uh, 750 attached to it. It's just a 7.5 meter um, forage header. So there we go. And very nice. And it's kind of sitting here in the, the bushes a little bit. But again, we've got the... Uh, the venting on the back where you can kind of see the inner workings of this bad boy, which I freaking love to see. <clears throat> uh, inside, um, we have kind of a wider view. You can kind of tell the, uh, the view is a little bit different in here. Probably because we're sitting higher up and it's a bigger, you know, machine. So you, need a wider field of view here but that is everything in here and then moving on to the uh, the jaguar 960 tt i guess that's a terra track or I don't, I don't know if it says what the tt is but it's basically just a 960 with the uh the tracks And I don't know that there is, let's see, let's take a quick look at it really quick. So yeah, there, this one is just the 960. Um, you can get a standard or a long pipe. I think I've got the long pipe on this one. And then you can just change the rear tire brands from Michelin, Trelleborg, or Midas. Um, Midas is actually a new tire brand. Uh, I don't remember having seen it before. So there is the tracked version. Otherwise, you know, not the most powerful, not the weakest. So it's kind of a, a good run of the mill um, uh, forage harvester. But then we do have the, the Orbis 900, which is a little bit wider. Um, I think this one goes out to nine meters. So uh, the one over, the first one we looked at, I think was 7.1 and this one's nine. They're pretty much the same, except I've noticed that there's an extra small cutter here on either side. 
be like on this side, it's like the two center large wheels, small cutter, large wheel, two large wheels, two small cutters, and then one large wheel. So that's probably where we get the extra width. So those are the new forage cutters. Next up, we actually have the new combines. This is probably one of the most anticipated parts of the uh, the DLC. We've got the Class 580 Tucano uh, and the 77 Vario header. Um, I also have the corn header, which is sitting outside. We'll we'll take a quick look at those here in just a moment. And I really like how one of them folds up. Actually, I think the way both of them fold up is really super cool. APS hybrid. Very, very nicely done. Ooh, can I not squeeze back there? I thought I left enough room. Maybe I can't. Maybe we have to go back around and look through the door. I do notice there's a couple little graphical glitches here. Um, I don't know if those will get patched before release um, or after release. They're, you know, you're probably not going to be looking through uh, windows all that much, but um, some of the dark surface areas don't look to have the proper shading and might not look, um, you know, 100%. So, you know, they'll probably get that fixed pretty pretty soon, though. So we've got the interior. Looks like a combine. Works like a combine. It probably is a combine. And I definitely love how they've got the engine components um, mounted on the outside. It just looks, you know, a little bit more detailed than some of the uh, components that we've seen previously. Maybe not. I just kind of think it does. They've just done a really good job on these. So, you know, I have to give my thumbs up for that one. And then the biggest bad boy of them all, the the brand new Lexion 90, uh, 8900, sorry, not 9800, but the 8900. Uh, this is going to be, it's going to take the crown from, I think, the uh, the the... the uh, Agco Ideal as the largest uh, combine in the game. And it's it's big. It feels big. I think it holds 18,000. Let's see if we can jump in here really quick. There's the big pipe. The pipe actually does fold. We actually have it unfolded right now. But, um, yeah, if we look at the uh, harvester here, yeah, 18,000 liters. So quite a bit more than the uh, the ideal. But again, there's no options for wheels. You get tracks um, and that's it. Very, very awesome. A lot of people have been waiting for an actual official Giants, excuse me, Giants Software class Lexion combine for years i used to use a, a lexion mod and it's been so long ago i don't even remember which model it was uh way back in 2013 uh farming simulator 2013 and i think in in farming sim 15 i might have used one as well and i just never found a really nice um class mod since then really and so having a nice um official class combine finally in game i'm really really excited about um and i will be using this heavily in the future as i you know as i can afford one um so the, the uh, header is the class uh 1230 1230 convio so this is going to basically be you know doing your wheat your barley uh soybeans and stuff like that canola etc 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 um now outside we actually have the uh the header the stock header for the what is it what is it called again the uh i don't i want to i don't want to get the, the tucano i was gonna say tucano but i was like i'm gonna be wrong and then i'll look like a dwarf of course i don't i don't know what i'm talking about with when it comes to farming equipment anyway um <laughs> It, what I think is really cool actually about both of these is these front uh, cone parts actually fold up. And then at least on this one, you can see there's a, a hinge right here. These part, this part folds here, this part folds here. And it actually becomes very, very compact. 
Um, and I'll see if maybe I can pull... Oh, I mean, you're not supposed to see that yet. Uh, one of the other combines over and just show you maybe uh, towards the end how that uh, folds up. Hopefully I won't uh, forget. Now this one actually doesn't fold, but the tips do fold backwards and then the outer tips actually fold inwards. So um, there, there are those two headers. And if we go into the shop, we can actually see, yeah, it's the Corio 875 FC for 63,000, the six meter header. And then if we go, whoops, wrong direction. Um, and then we have the Corio 1275C, and this is a nine meter, so six to nine meters. And that's as big as they get. Um, there's also some uh, uh, header trailers and things like that. Um, I think I do have one. Yeah, I've got the uh, Convio 1230 trailer. I didn't pull the 1275 trailer. Just, <clears throat> you know, kind of, you've seen one trailer, you've seen them all, I think. Um, next up, we actually have the grass cutters, the Disco uh, 3600 FC. <clears throat> and then we have the uh, Disco 1100C business. And it means business. This is just uh, the standard uh, 870 Axion. We saw that earlier in the episode. But um, both sold separately. So you can you know purchase just the front unit if you want. You can purchase just the rear units. You know, whatever you want to do, you can do it that way. Um, they do require, you know, they do have horsepower requirements. Let me see way here. No. Nope. I always lose these. Here we go. Um, yeah, so 70, minimum of 70 horsepower for the, uh, the front unit and a minimum of 160 horsepower for the rear unit. I'd say to run both units... Um, effectively, you're probably going to need something around um, 200 horsepower, maybe. Um, 160 should run both the front and the rear, but um, I just the more the merrier. You don't want to, you know, you could you're not going to put like 900 horsepower or anything like that on it because um, the tractors are going to be really too big to use the cutters. But um, oops, I did it again. Uh, but yeah, about 200 usually, at least for me, is a a pretty good number and again you don't have to use these with um class tractors you can use them with deer or case or you know whatever you want like usual but um yeah they're very very nice um they've got really nice good textures to them um even the you know the surface textures i wish the sun was a little bit lower so we could actually kind of see some of the surface textures oh, you can kind of see there we go Hopefully you can kind of see the surface textures around there, which are very nice. Very, very nice. Um, next up, we've got our, our uh, class weights. Uh, I think there's a 600 and a 900 in this for this guy. Um, then you've got a 900 and maybe like a 1200. And then we've got a, an 1800. And then I want to say like a 2100 uh, will pop into... The, um, the cloth category really quick, and we'll find this. So yeah, here's the W600, oh no, 1200. So I, I got my numbers way off there. Love the metal uh, look of that on the sides there. Looks really, really, really nice. And it's got the three point, uh, hopefully, I guess that's, that's, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna buy it now. <laughs> Uh, going up to the 900, 900 to 1500 kgs, and then the one that I think looks the coolest, the W1800, starts out at 1800 kilograms and goes up to 2000. So it's got another weight on top. Nice wide one there. Very, very cool. All right. Moving down the line, we have a couple of uh, trailers here. This is the Cargos, uh, does have a, where's the model number on it? The Cargos 750 uh, and then the 760. Practically the same thing, but th this one is smaller and it's kind of hard to tell down here, but I think this one holds 41,000. Uh, am, am I right or am I wrong? I'm probably wrong. Looking this up earlier. Wait, where do they go? Oh, here we go. 
the Cargus uh, 750, oh, it's kind of close, 44,500. And then the 760 is 51,000. Maybe that's why I was getting the 1,041, you know. You know what I'm saying? You know, trying to see how my brain works here. Um, so 59,000, 77,500 for those. Um, they look great. Looks like what you've come to expect. You've got, you know, all of your hydraulic hoses and lines and things like that for brakes and who knows what else. Oh, probably um, the conveyor at the bottom to push your load out the back there. And uh, as far as what they carry, um, you know, not crops. These are for, you know, your silaged um, materials, wood chips, um, grass, straw, um, you know, things like that. Um, and then we also have a forage wagon here. So, you know, if you've already cut your grass and you want to pick it up, you've got the forage wagon. This is the class cargos 9500 but it's got the attacher on the front there um and i'm sure it's got to hold a lot right here fifty-three thousand. i'll give it the thumbs up there that's quite a lot for a forage wagon and really the last two pieces of equipment that you're going to get with the Platinum Edition is going to be the two, the two class uh, balers here. So we've got the Roland, which is a, uh, I think this is a round baler. Yes, this is a round baler uh, with a built-in wrapper here. And uh, so you'll be able to wrap. Okay, never mind. Let's stop that. Yep, the 455 uh, Roland. Now... Let's see here. I just want to see if you can choose. I think you can, yeah, foil color, um, standard colors. And then you can choose the, the Trelleborg or Michelin tires for that. But, you know, nothing else really changes uh, as far as that goes. So, again, very, very nice looking baler. And it even has like a little selling point thing. In. No, it doesn't. It's because I'm... It's because I'm standing on the selling point. Um, last but not least, we've got the Quadrant 5300 FC uh, baler. Now, this is like a big, gigantic square baler here off the back. And um, <clears throat> very... Got a very standard... No, standard, maybe not so much. I just love all the, like, the brassish fittings in there. I don't know if that's brass or... Kind of like colored uh, anodized steel or human I don't, I don't know i don't know enough about the uh the colors of metals to know for sure but um it really looks nice and it just adds another layer of of uh reality to it reality realism realism that's the word i'm looking for hey it's really late at night and i'm trying to get this done um, also as pre-order bonuses, and they probably, they usually throw these in as, you know, just post-order bonuses. We have a couple extras here. Uh, we have the, uh, old school class maxi dominate. Well, the class dominator 108 SL, the maxi, I think is the tube here, um, with the C510 header, uh, which is a pretty narrow header. I think it's only like five uh, meters, something like that. Ah, no. We can go way out to the end here and we can see it. Yeah, 5.1 meters, um, but it's very, very nice. Um, if you want to sell all of your uh, starting equipment or, or create kind of like a, a more difficult map off the start, um, you can use this. And I love how there's a microphone there with a cord. So you can like yell at people like, hey, get out of the way before I, no, I don't, I don't know. That looks like a microphone. It's either a microphone or a Geiger counter. I'm going for a microphone though. Um, I'm not exactly sure. Oh my gosh, there's a cassette tape deck right there on the top left. That is so awesome. I'm sold. I'm totally sold. The kids now are like, what are cassette tapes? Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know what year these came out, but it looks like we've got a lot of um, analog gauges and things like that. So um, yeah, I'm going to have to create a new save and, and start out with one of these. This is freaking awesome. Um, Folding and unfolding doesn't really do too much. 
Um, you know, that raises up, the ladder comes down. Um, but that's really about, that's all I can really see here. And of course, you know, the pipe, but that's a whole new thing. But, uh, Farzug shirt off. I think that means like the cutter is out, something like that. So maybe it's to warn the, um, vehicles coming up from behind that, hey, there's something sharp and pointing on the, on the front. I'm not exactly sure. Um, my German is not that good. And then last but not least, we have this thing. Now, this is actually a, um, a wheel loader. It's a Tyrion 1914 Dev Mule version, I guess. A, that's what it says, Dev Mule. Um, I'm assuming that this is what... This is kind of like a paint scheme that designers use when they're coming out with, like, a new product. And they, you know, because what happens... This happens all the time in the auto industry. You, you'll see like Lamborghinis and Porsches and Audis and BMWs and all kinds of different uh, vehicles with these really weird paint schemes. And that's actually to kind of try to fool the competition. And that's kind of what I, I think what's going on here. I could be totally wrong. This might be something that they offer to everybody. I don't really think so though. But um, yeah, it's just a... a, a Tyrion 1914, um, just like the one that we already have in game, except it has this insane paint scheme to it. And it's got the uh, blacked out rims on it as well. So uh, if you pre-order and possibly, you know, don't now don't come back if you try to order this later and you don't get these two pieces of equipment. And don't come back and be like, but Brad, you told me. Um, it, they are marketed right now as a pre-order bonus. So if you order now before the, the, the release of the expansion on the 27th, I'm sorry, the 22nd of October, um, you should definitely get these. Um, now, one last thing I wanted to do before we head off is um, I wanted to show you that, that other header. So we're going to just drive this guy up um, so I can show you the folding action um, of this uh, this other header up here really quick because I thought it was pretty cool and I even thought you know the first time I tried it out I was like I want to show you guys this because it's it looks pretty neat and um, even though we've had corn headers that fold up in the past um, this is just a little bit different I'm gonna hit X and you can see how each one of these things folds in and then the two nose or the two side ones fold in and then <laughs> trying to make transformer sounds, but it's not working. And then those kind of fold in on, in on each other. And that's it. I mean, you can see how small that becomes. So definitely pretty. Yeah, look how small that is. It's like, matter of fact, when I first spawned it in the game, this is how it spawns in. And I'm sitting there going, this is not the corn header. Like I thought it was like one something for like foragers, and and then I'm like, oh yeah, I guess it is, and I unfolded it, and it became a corn header. It was, it was pretty cool. Um, this, you know, the the tips essentially just fold back on this, and again, the the, the two sides um, uh, fold inward, but it doesn't, you know, fold the sides don't fold up over each other. So a little disappointed with that. You are going to need a trailer, and there are. Uh, header trailers that come with um, with the the expansion. Now this is marketed. Uh, here's my my only bit of criticism for this expansion. Um, it is marketed as the platinum expansion, but this will be the first platinum expansion that's been limited to a single brand, um, limited to so few pieces of equipment, and also limited in that we are not seeing a map expansion. Um, so, you know, I think a lot of people are really going to like this <clears throat> and, they, and you guys are probably going to run out and buy it right now just for the class name. I do like class equipment. Um, for that alone, I would say run out and buy it. If it was a DLC, just a, like a non-platinum edition DLC, I would say go and buy it right now. Um, but the fact that they're not including a new map uh, as well as other equipment. I have to say that I'm a little bit disappointed. I think it's a little bit light. 
Um, I think it is going to be worth the money. It's you've got some really nice equipment, but you all, you know, it doesn't really do or add anything into the game that you don't already have other than class equipment. So if you're a big class fan, this is going to be hu a huge plus for you. If you could, yeah, if, you know, if you're like, eh, I'm on the fence, take it or leave it. Um, it's not going to be the cheapest DLC um, on planet Earth. But I think, you know, the quality of all the equipment is definitely top notch. It's what we've come to expect from uh, Giants. I was just hoping for a lot more uh, in the, um, the Platinum Edition this year. I always look forward to a new map. And unfortunately, we're not going to get uh, that this year. And uh, I can only speculate as to why. My hopes and dreams are that they're putting a lot more effort into Farming Simulator 2021, which is probably a year-ish so away. So uh, maybe this time next year we will be playing Farming Simulator 21 together. And we'll be having a blast with virtual reality and, you know, touch sensitive gloves it'll be it'll be like um what's the movie uh where you where they actually have the body suits and everything and it's no i i don't think they're gonna go that far but um a lot of people recently have been saying they would really 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 love to see vr in farming simulator so giants if you're watching and listening vr i'm gonna hold you to it i can't hold them to anything what am i talking about um, but guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I will have links down in the video description for uh, you know where you can go and buy it off of the uh, Giants website. If you're on PC, um, if you're on consoles, you'll just you know buy it through the Microsoft or Sony stores. And if you've got the Steam version, you'll probably just buy the Steam. Uh, the, you know the Steam DLC there, uh, but if you're if you're buying it through the website, uh, please use my uh, affiliate code down in the. And I'll have I'll try to have a, an affiliate link down there as well, but it's just a, an affiliate code Bradham73, and um, yeah, that doesn't give you like you know 50 percent or off or anything like that, but it does give me a small kickback. So uh, any help that you guys provide is greatly appreciated. Well, that's going to be it for me. This has been the Farming Simulator 19 Platinum Edition expansion, including all of this uh, new class equipment. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you very, very soon. Bye for now.